Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's class, in this amazing video, we are going to be looking at perfect or complete square. Okay? Now, a quadratic equation, what is the general form of a quadratic equation? It is given as ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Class, this is the general form of a quadratic equation okay now for this quadratic equation to be a perfect square what is the formula that we're going to be applying to solve any question on the perfect square the formula is b squared equals 4 ac our a is this our c is this our b is this okay so which implies on the perfect square we use this formula b squared equals 4 ac Okay, so here yeah, we have two questions to be solved last. What must be added to 2x squared plus 5x, x squared minus 4x to make it a perfect square? And what do we say? We said anytime we are given question on that perfect square, we we'll apply this formula. Okay, so let's try and solve these questions applying this formula. So the first one, solution to the first one. We are asked to find what must be added. So let's assume we want to add k as a constant. So let's assume we said what now? Let k be what now? Be added. Let k be added to this to make it a perfect square. So which implies this equation now becomes 2s squared plus 5s plus, then plus what now? Plus the k that I have what now? Added. Okay? Now, this our a. In the form of 2, okay? So our A equals to what now? 2. Our B is equals to what now? 5. I'm comparing and contrasting this and this. And our K here is what now? The C. So which plus our C equals to what? Equals to K. Plus, what is the formula for perfect squared? B squared must be equals to what? For AC. So we have our B, all squared, that is what now? 5 all squared must be equals to 4. Whatever our, our A is what? Our A is 2. Whatever our what now? Our C is what? Is K. So from here we have 25 equals 4 times 2, 8. Then 8 times K we have what now? 8K. Then we make K to stand by itself. So we divide through by what now? By 8. All over 8. All over 8. 8 here, we cancel this 8. So it therefore implies that what? Our K will be equal to what now? 25 all over what now? 8. Okay? So which implies 25 all over 8 must be added to 2x squared plus 5x to make it a perfect square, okay? You understand this class. So let's take the second question. What must be added to x squared minus 4x to make it a perfect square? This is the formula. For anything other perfect square, or we can call it complete square. So once we have perfect square, we use this formula, okay? So we must memorize this formula. B squared equals to 4ac. That is the only thing that we need to solve any question on that word now. Perfect what? Perfect squared. So we have what now? The B part of the question. We have what? S squared minus 4S. Okay. What do you want us to add? Let us add what now? P. We can add any variable. Okay. Here, yeah, I added K. Here, yeah, I'm adding what now? P. We can add any variable to make it a perfect square. Okay. So what do I have here? Our A here equals to what? 1. Isn't it? Our A is 1. What's our B class? You have to be very careful. We design. Okay. We design. Our B equals to what now? Minus what? Minus 4. And our C equals to what now? P. Okay? So here A is 1. B is what? Minus 4. And our C is what now? Is P. So we we'll apply the formula. B squared. So we have what? Minus 4. Or what now? All squared equals to 4. A. 1. C is what? Is P. So here we have what now? 16 equals to what? 4 what? 4 P. So we we'll make P the same formula. It means we are dividing... Two by what now? By four, okay? So we have what now? By four, by what now? By four. Which implies this four, we cancel this four. Four year one, four year what now? Four in 16, that will give us four. That will imply that our P will be equal to what now? Four, okay? So which implies four must be added to this what now? S squared minus four S to make it a perfect square, okay? So class, if you've enjoyed this video and you want me to produce amazing videos like this, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video. 
and again you can watch any of my videos on the screen right now okay watch the videos to the end okay because you are going to learn a lot from the video thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next slide